Hey, Orange One here. So we're sieging Gauss Castle. I'm not sure if it's really even worth us um, including this fight, to be honest, but we're going to do it. Um, it's, you know, a castle of 30 people, so we'll, we'll attack with the ladders. Um, honestly, I'm suspecting that our archers will most likely take out most of the defenses before we even really even get in there. Um, but we'll see. Like I said, we're going in without any defenses. Okay, yeah, there's a number of them right there. It's like at least five of them right there. 30 people, okay. We can do it. I just need to not get shot myself. I say as people take shots at me. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. We'll just, you know, honestly just do this until we've taken the castle and we'll be fine. There. Okay, sweet. I think you know, we've probably already taken out a good number of their defenders before we've taken out nearly a third of their defenders. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty, pretty quick match. Take this. Yeah, if we've got these ladders and those ladders right there. Oh man, am I really going to get them with an archer? Seriously? <laughs> okay, yeah. We've basically won at this point. Awesome. We've only got 10 people left. Aww. I really should have gotten that. Oh, we're getting some lag. Okay, yeah, I think that they basically... There's one more dude. Okay. There we go. Easy. Okay, so we took that place. Now, I know that our companions that are with us are going to want to put units in this castle, but then will we have enough people to also siege the town? I don't know. But I am kind of thinking that we'll let the king worry about some of those details. For now, we're going to just get in there, drop off some troops, um, and we're going to be way too slow to catch that guy, unfortunately. But I think we've got enough speed to at least get food here, and then I think we're going to go down to Phykaeon. And then hopefully we'll uh, get some some lords to join up with us down there. Okay, there's no food here. That is a shame. Maybe the lords are actually buying food. That might be what's, what's happening there. It's only 71 defenders of Gauss. New owner of Gauss. Uh, sure, let's go with... Um, what do you all think of me? 43, 100. I'm going to go with you. I mean, you're already my ombre, so yeah, it's fine. Now we've got another ombre who really likes us. Um, well, let's just get in here. Um, I don't think yet. Yeah, they're getting all the recruits. Are they also getting all the food? It does look like they are buying all the food. Okay. Oh, what have we got here with the character thing? Do I have a level up? A charm level up? <gasps> um... Clan members gain 10% more influence from actions, gain 20% from personal actions. I think we're going to go with just the clan member parties. Because we're ultimately going to have a big clan. Oh, look at this. We also have a focus point that we can still spend. We focused out in the, uh, the social skill here. I think... We're going to want to go with, um, I don't know, I kind of want a bigger party size, but I also think the engineering is probably a good move for us. Maybe medicine. Let's go ahead, we'll go with, um, we'll go with engineering. Because we have found that we've been using that skill quite a bit. 
And let's go ahead and see if we can get Phyk on. I think that we can. I think with the numbers that we've got, we should be able to take a city. We just need to make sure that we're buying all the goods that we can to help us in said uh, taking of city. Um, we do actually have, it says, is that 54? So about 700-ish troops right now? How much food do we have? It says 46 days worth of food. Okay, there's only 95 people here. I think we really should be sieging this down. Um, and these are going to be kind of nasty walls. So we should really be using the trebuchets if we can take down the walls. I suspect, though, that the maid, the faction's going to attack us while we're doing this. Though we do have a good sizable stack right there. That's pretty good. I think they're going to Neri, which is the other city that's just up north of us. Which is good. Good thing to have someone backing up the that part of the war effort. Though honestly, I just kind of want to do sieges. I've kind of gotten to that point in the game where I'm like, I just want to siege, you know. Um. So okay, we got the siege camp, and we were working on the trebuchets. And honestly, yeah, we should really just ass assault this castle. And we're kind of starving as it is. Yeah, how about we, after the trebuchet, let's go with a uh, siege tower and a ram, and we'll kind of see how that goes. We'll move you to the reserve so you don't get just destroyed, though. They're going to hit us pretty hard, though, if we try and, and bum rush them. Uh, how's our cohesion? We'll get the cohesion up a little bit. I have so much influence right now that, like, that's, like, it's fine doing that. Um, I think that we'll, uh, we'll put that on and we're going to lead the assault. And we have such numbers that we don't need to pound the walls down, I don't think. I think also given the fact that the trebuchet will be firing at the walls and the troops will help us significantly. We also do have them outnumbered 7 to 1. Like, I kind of recognize on one hand we're kind of throwing away our units by doing this this is way, but um, I think that we're okay. The, uh, look at those dudes going up there. I think they're going up to that tower, getting onto the ballistas. How are we doing? Uh, let's go ahead and we're going to hold down tab so I can kind of just get a look back at us. We got our tower there. Got a lot of archers over there. We got a ram coming in. Um, yeah, that dude on the trebuchet I would really like to take out. Or not the trebuchet, the ballista. Oh, hit the ballista there. There, this is the archer. I don't think they're actually on the ballista. I think they're just standing next to it now, actually, in hindsight. Yeah, if we could uh, get more archer fire, that'd be great. I'm a little bit worried that I'm about to get yeah hit. Yeah, I suspected that someone was going to start shooting at me. Where's my trebuchet? My trebuchet should be hitting them, right? Let's just get in here underneath with these dudes. It's pretty cool how they do that, how they try and go for the cover like that. Oh, that was baloney. Nice. <laughs> okay. A little bit less baloney. Um, can I shoot the siege equipment there? Who's operating that? I don't see anyone operating it actually right now, so I think that we're okay. <laughs> there goes that travel warrior. Um, cool. Anyone up here? Kind of right there, I see some dude. That's good. Nice. Okay. Sorry, just give me a second. 
Okay, let's see, where are we? Oh yeah, okay. Well, we're pretty much on the walls now. We've got the siege tower. It looks like that made it there relatively safe. So that should be a good thing for us. Um, is that an archer right there? I see, I see, I think an archer, yeah. Cool, okay. I really, really enjoy giving cover to people in sieges. It's, it's very rewarding. Oh, you know, if you can actually provide that cover, though, that's that's kind of nice. Um, piercing arrows. Or no, that's not arrows. Okay. Well, unless there's someone, like, standing right there. These are kind of useless to me. I think they fixed the pathing a little bit with people going up these things. Um... I could be wrong, it might have been the patch notes that I was reading about the next build. I think people are starting to go through the gates a little bit better, at least from what I've seen. Like when they get this this thing knocked down, they've started actually kind of going in. Hello? Is somebody there? If you are, I, I'd be willing to throw something at you. <laughs> Nobody's there. Anybody? <laughs> I really do like the physics though in this game. Like that's pretty cool that you can throw that and then pick that up. Like I've I've wanted to do that since uh, like New Vegas. Look at all these stones. This one threw it at us. Like New Vegas, I remember having like javelins and throwing weapons and being so mad that it wouldn't let me pick them up off the ground. I was like, it's a throwing weapon. It's reusable. Come on. Just let me use it, you know? Man, this is kind of crazy, the frames that we're getting. Though I have heard that they they have addressed the... It, it was something to do with like the pathing between the destructible and non-destructible parts of the environment. Something like that. Sweet, we'll take it. And... Yeah, I think that we didn't take that many losses. I think the Kuzades, they're really good in the open field, but... With the cities, I think if we know how to siege properly, we can um, take what they take back from them pretty easily. They got good horses, but they're... And their archers are okay, but their infantry is just trash. They really don't stand stand up to other people too well. Um, Yeah, well, the people whose fief this is definitely don't like me. I might see if we can get it ourselves again. Really? You're not going to give it to me? Uh, you like me, you like me, you do not like me. I'm going to vote for you. I'm going to dump a ton of influence in on that just to make sure that you like me. Yeah, you guys don't like me nearly as much anymore. But... I think it's good to have friends from different um, clans, speaking of which. Oh, the Kurgrits. These guys, I bet, are going to leave us. Um, let's see, what did I want to do? Um, I think, honestly, I might tell the other lords that they can kind of do their own thing, and I might stay at Phycaon. Maybe not. Maybe I'll trade here and then we'll push up back up into the, the north a little bit. That might be a, a good move for us. Well, there's no food. Like, literally no food. And we d we're just sieging it, so that kind of makes sense. Um, let's just heal up, though, a little bit. Because I do think we are kind of hurting as an army. Um, so we'll just get a little bit more health back. And actually, speaking of our army... I think I saw Olin right there. Komar. Olin is still getting units, okay. We'll just kind of heal up a little bit there. I don't know if the AI uses the, the um, prisoner recruitment mechanic like we do. I feel like whenever I go into a place, they just unload all of their uh, prisoners. 
So like I feel like that is a huge advantage that we as the player have over them. And we are starting to kind of run out of food a little bit. Um, if I go to trade, do you guys have some food now? You do not. Okay. Well, what should I do? Should I go up to Mysia? How are we doing over here? We've got Tamna, we've got Poros. We've actually pretty much systematically taken like castles from them. We could go to Ezernur and try and, and see what we can do over there. I'm kind of curious about that. If we go to these villages, uh, which one is going to have food? Uh, that f has a fair amount of force bandits. I'm tempted to try and take it, but there's like 20 something force bandits. And it's nighttime right now. Can we do it? No. It's daytime by the time we get there. Okay. I was considering doing it, but the game didn't want to let me. You know, honestly, I think that NPCs are going to take cities. We kind of crushed them to the point where I think that our companions could probably do that. Hold on, what? Oh man, we're getting over our troop limit. Okay. Um, and we could also go to Aniri. I think that's probably a good option for us. And it's probably, I don't know, because it looks like all of our people keep on buying food from the places. Is that a, f a fight? Is someone raiding a village there? I could have sworn that I saw a village getting raided just then. And I'm pretty sure, yeah, that all of the products are getting bought. <laughs> Whenever we go to a place. Yeah, 36 days of food is not a whole lot of food, considering. I think we really should be taking that city right now. But we just don't have the food, is the problem. Oh, here we go. There's There's actually plenty of food. Take all of all of your butter. Um, yeah, let's just take all the fish as well, and cheese and meat and olives and all of that. Honestly, I know that it's not the best price. I really don't care. There's food. We we kind of need it. Our army kind of needs it. Actually, speaking of which, is there any? There's a fair amount of sheep there. I'm gonna. Buy like five sheep and see if we can then butcher them. I know it's not like the best deal to do it that way, but if I uh Yeah, let's do like that. I think that that's more than enough sheep. And I think we really We could we could check out the city here, but I've got a feeling that they're gonna um, have too many defenders. It's worth checking out at the very the very least. That brigand is yeah not one that I can level up. Oh nice, we got the Vigla turning into one of the guys that's really valuable. Uh, come on, let's go over here. Seranimus. Um, can I can I cut them off? I can. Oh, they've got 500 defenders at the city. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Though this castle, I bet I bet that that castle I can make work. Can I um, buy products here? Yes, I can. I'm actually, gonna buy all the grain. And then, oh, actually, do I want to go for this one or that one? I'm not really sure. I think that this one's closer, so I think I want to make my way over there. I don't think that they've got the forces to take back the places that we've taken from them, though they could possibly. It is definitely possible. Um, cancel. Yeah, let's just get get up there. I can't remember because I had that little interruption exactly how much time I had already recorded at the beginning of this. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, it seems to me that whenever we're stopping at villages that units are getting bought. I don't know exactly how it's working, but it seems to me like things are working as intended with that. What are you doing? Why are you trying to get down there? You're probably trying to unite with these guys to attack one of these cities or castles that I've just taken, huh? I think it might be time that we get rid of some of these dudes and make room for the, these dudes. Um, anyone else like a level one? Yeah, we'll get rid of you. Thank you. Cool. And what is this? Oh, grain. I'll take grain. Yeah, you've got 100 grain. I'll take all of it. As someone, I saw a meme the other day about uh, my units love grain. <laughs> it was just like, yeah. You could imagine jokes about like food, high quality food. I think it was like, was it a Gordon Ramsay one, one of those ones? I think it might have been. Okay, we're starting to get some issues where our recruits are um, better than what I already have. Let's get rid of you two, and I think that that's going to leave space for these guys. Actually, I think I might be just changing out one dude for another dude that's of comparable skill. Okay, well, we have a lot more food now. That's good. Uh, let's see about sieging this place down. We're going to do the trebuchets, honestly. I think that that worked out pretty well for me. And I'm pre feeling like we're pr just pushing on an advantage at this point. And let's go ahead. Let's just get that cohesion up nice and high. We'll just kind of hang out here and let this this thing do its thing. Okay, we got the castle siege wall up. That's good. Uh, what's going on over here? Kesar? What is Kesar? I don't even know where that is. 85, 85, 100. I think I'm just going to abstain. I don't want to... Wait, did my relation decreased with everyone by doing that? That's kind of weird. By saying I'm not going to vote for any of you, all of you got mad at me. Doesn't seem very fair. Um, yeah, I think that this is a good move. Just kind of creeping up on their castles in this war. Uh, move to reserve, yeah. The ballista's been cracked. That's weird because I don't think we fired at them. Oh no, Komar's being attacked. Ah. Uh, that's annoying. If I go to my party, I'm just kind of curious. If I... I don't think if you have a more experienced party that you do things any faster, do you? Sorry, that that's not going to work. I'll just level up then. Okay. Fine by me. And then I think, actually, with the two, that actually provided to be enough last time, didn't it? Having the two firing at the wall. Are you guys going to fire at the wall or what? There we go. Yeah, they're firing. Cool. And see now that like, that ballista's down. I think if we just kind of keep on firing at them. Yeah, we can take out the ballistas at least. And then we can kind of hurt the walls a little bit. I think I'm going to want to do that, um, because that's going to help us in the long term. And our numbers, we do have a 4 to 1 ratio, but we have the time. So it's kind of like a matter of why not. Like, we won't lose our units if we're doing this this way, you know? And we have the food. I think we actually have a fair amount of food right now. So that helps. Helps us to take out on these walls. Oh, look, we got another character level up. What's it this time? Can't even see. There's too many things. I'm not seeing it. It's, it's saying it's... Uh... Yeah, I'm just like... Oh, okay, it's engineering. 
Catapults are 30% more effective. Okay, well, does that include trebuchets? Does that fall under that category? We'll just kind of let those three go at it for a little bit. Let's get some Siege Tower and Ram going while those are working on the walls. Not that we really need it, honestly. If the wall gets knocked down, we could just, like, walk in, to be completely honest. Do we actually have the Siege Tower? Um, owner of Balk to hand? Okay, so we've crushed them. Oh, what? I could just say, give me the city. <sighs> I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I was totally not involved in the taking of that city. <laughs> but everyone loves me so much that like, sure, give them the city. <laughs> of Owner of Aniri. Oh, I almost... Wanted to see if I could do it uh, for myself as well. Tice, you, you're kind of pissed at me, so. Um, we'll do like, we'll do all 300. I, and I have the points, it's fine. I think it gives you more experience if you use more influence points. Um, wrong button. I wanted to do this one, the party button, not the character. Yeah, I think that we should be able to take this castle. And I think, honestly, at this point, we're kind of steamrolling the um, the largest faction that was challenging me. So uh, I'm feeling pretty good. And we've got all these recruits that want to join up with, and with my army. I'm going to... Let's just wait either until the wall falls or we get a, uh, a ram. Okay, I think that we should... We should really attack. I'm honestly a little bit concerned that the Kuze are going to call off the war and that we're going to then not be able to take this castle. And I want to see about getting on one of these trebuchets. Because I've heard that it's a good way to get your experience up. I want to try it. No, do not use it. It's mine. So you can change your distance with W and S, it looks like. And then you can be like, okay, I want to fire from, like, here. And you can kind of see where it goes. Okay, that was way off to the side there. Um, how does this work? Okay, so it left makes me... Left mouse button makes it get drawn back again. And then someone's gonna go get me some ammo or something. I don't know. Let's go like... We need to go lower. Let's go to like three. Let's, let's have a look. Where does that go? That I did not see even hit the walls. <laughs> okay. I'm... Definitely not doing very successful with this. Uh, we definitely need higher than three, it looks like. Let's go with, like, that. And I'm gonna kind of try and line it up with this, like, center tower here. I don't know how it w lines up. I think it lines up, like, with the red right there. Because that uh, seems to me at least to be parallel. Let's have a look. Where does that go? Okay, that kind of was a little too low. I think we want that higher than that. Okay, yeah, let's get it rolled back up, and I think we want higher than that. And our tower is about, honestly, to take it, so... I don't know. Is someone trying to f get us our ammo, or... No? You guys are just giving up on me. I didn't see... Where was he getting the ammo from? I didn't even see where he was getting the ammo from. There's like some rocks around here. Did we already fire all of the shots? Do you only get a certain number of shots within a siege? I think that might be the case. They kind of look like they're bugging out over there. No, they're, they're running back to fire it. Oh, oh, sorry. That was a little <laughs> random. Oh, there's like a weird line going through the middle of the castle. Is that like a graphical bug or what is that? 
it's not by design, right? Yakuza haven't just graffitied this castle, have they? Well, what was that? That was weird. Let's have a look. Oh, did that hit someone? I don't think that actually hit someone. I have seen some videos online of some people getting just like domed by them. I I can get that dude. Uh, really? Okay, there we go. There was a dude that was like in that window right there. I saw them. Yeah, it's super weird, the, like, line on this castle. Is that, like, supposed to be historically accurate of something? Or is that, like, totally a, a bug? I think it's a bug. Um, come on. Let's get in there. I really want to get in there, actually. We're gonna see if we can get in the courtyard. Just push our way through. There we go. Let's get in there. Oh, nice. This is perfect. This is good for me. You guys are kind of being an idiot. Yeah, AI is being dumb. Oh man, <laughs> I ripped him so bad there. That was awesome. Come on. Nice. Yeah, no, we can't get any more shots off, unfortunately. Okay, well, we got a ton of them there, actually. Oh, look at that. Is that... No, it doesn't destroy. That's kind of cool. It's like a little archery range. Now I want to be able to do, like, training exercises in castles. Like, with my units. Like, you know? Wouldn't that be cool? And that horse is pretty good. Nice. So we got ourselves another castle. See what I mean? The castles are so much easier to take than the actual cities. Oh, they took Phycaon back? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Well, we better be about to take that back. That's a, that is just absurd. Um, yeah, let's go with you getting us. Hopefully you like me quite a bit more now. Oh, our friend here, he doesn't like me anymore. Our charm is almost at 200, though, which is awesome. It's incredible. Did I not actually spend the focus point on engineering? That's kind of dumb of me. Okay, well, I think I, that this is going to be about a half an hour. So thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.